So it's been 300 years right down to the day. No, I'm just kidding. It hasn't been quite that long since we've seen one another, but it definitely feels like it has been a while. Either way, it doesn't matter because you guys know what? I'm back, witches! And I'm so super pumped about today's video because you guys know I'm a huge, huge Halloween fan, even bigger Sanderson sister fan. So I had to grab the entire Coven Crew collection from ColourPop. Now this is their second Hocus Pocus collaboration. And I have a feeling there is going to be a third collaboration next year. So we're going to talk about why here in just a second. But for now, uh, definitely grab a snack and pull up a broomstick because we're going to be doing a full first impressions. Like, I don't even know what I ordered here because honestly, I didn't have a lot of time to check it out fully on Instagram. I just like set the alarm, got on, ordered it and moved on about my day. So we're going to be checking this out together, doing comparisons to last year's collection, talking about why they changed their packaging, why the cartoony figures, and why I think there's going to be a third collaboration. So if you're ready, let's do this. Hey you guys and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Alexandra and I'm just going to apologize now if you hear like some thumping noises in the background. It's actually my two-year-old running back and forth upstairs right now. He's kind of excited because he just got up from his nap, you know, mom life kind of thing. Anyways, um, I wanted to also show you guys this super cute shirt. I ordered this on Sheen and I have to say super, super good quality. And these sweatpants, look, they're like reflective. I'm super, super happy with them. I'll post a picture of the full outfit up here. But again, I ordered on Sheen. I did have to size up, but really nice quality. I mean, ship super fast and very, very inexpensive. If you have not checked out Sheen yet, I highly, highly suggest you do. So I will link all that down below, as well as timestamps for each of the things, starting with the unboxing, which we're going to do now because I am pumped, you guys. I have not been into this yet. I waited for you all, which was hard to do, but it did just come in today. So I didn't have to wait too long. All right, here we go. Here it is, you guys. Okay, let me see. Let's see what we got going on here. Well, to where it's not in the camera's way. Okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what is this? Is this the candle? Is this the candle? Oh my gosh, is this the candle? Oh, it is the candle. Oh my gosh, I thought we weren't getting this. I, okay, I have to find, I have to find. Hang on one second. Okay, I'm back and I have a lighter. I am super, super excited, you guys. I did not think that we were gonna get this. So this is what the outside packaging looks like. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna like try to not mess this box up. So we open it. That is what she looks like. It's actually a pretty nice size candle. Oh, it smells like fall. Oh my gosh, it smells like fall. All right, so candle wick is trimmed. Let's light this puppy up. And if you are curious where I got my little uh, electrified lighter thing here, I will link it down below. I got it on Amazon, amazing, amazing lighter. But this is what the candle looks like. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. I love it so much. And it is actually a really nice size candle. Now for those of you guys that are gonna be worried about my hair burning, no worries, this is not close enough to catch my hair on fire. So we're just gonna let the black flame candle freaking light back there. I'm so excited about that. I am keeping that packaging, so we're gonna gently place that there. Ooh, here's the mirror. I was super excited about this because I really, 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 I don't know why I love mirrors, I really do, but I loved the ColourPop mirror that they did for Valentine's Day. So just for size comparison, here's the mirror um, with like a Jeffree Star mirror. This is what we are looking at here. So that is what the mirror looks like. It's super cute. It's actually like sparkly there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I didn't actually notice that detail on ColourPop's website. So super, super happy about that. Cadence's like favorite character is Binks. She cries. Every time we watch that movie at the end when he like, you know, dies. So it looks like we have uh, three uh, lipsticks here in Hello Boys, Tonight We Fly, and Calming Circle. 
So it's got like each of the witches there on that. So let's take a look at what these look like. Oh, these are their new lipsticks. I have not tried these yet, so this will be nice. So this is Hello Boys, which is Sarah's um, packaging here. And then Calming Circle is, ooh, that's a nice, pretty, like, pinky undertone nude kind of color. So that is Mary's. And then we have, of course, Winifred, who I would like to point out is super skinny in her little cartoony images um so love that they did that but i feel like they should have kind of like stayed true because big bone witches are okay too you know what i mean so i kind of i don't know you know what i mean like let me know down below what do you think about them kind of changing her appearance a little bit Okay, what is this? Oh, the Super Shock Trio. Again, super cute packaging. So just an FYI, if you guys are wondering where these little cartoony witches came from, I'm going to show you guys this right here. So these characters actually are Disney's actual like little cartoon things that they drew up and because there's going to be a new Hocus Pocus movie and they are bringing the three original witches back which this movie should be coming out fall of 2022 they're actually filming it right now I'm so excited you guys so excited okay so that is what the trio looks like in the packaging there's like packaging on top of packaging on top of packaging but I'm not mad at it it's super cute Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we have like a really pretty purple here. Ooh, I don't have a purple like this. So that is oh, scrumptious, absolutely scrumptious. Okay, and of course I will be doing swatches. So again, timestamps will be down below in the description box. So what color was that? I'm sorry. So that was Forever Bewitching. This is Dos, dos Thou Comprehend. So there's the gold right there. Super, super pretty. And I actually was a little worried that I might have a gold like this, but I don't. So I actually do not in the uh, Super Shock Shadow collection that I have. So very happy about that. And then this one looks like another gold. So we got a different kind of gold here. And <clears throat> these are very interesting. So this is to be young and beautiful again so very nice very 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 nice and i love the little details on the packaging so we have like the eye on this one and then the moon on this one and then of course a skull on this one i don't know if you guys can see that all right and then what is this what is this um a qt mark face stamp so I did get one of these last year. So the one that they did last year was the moon one. And as you can see, this one is definitely a lot fatter. I feel like the packaging way cuter, way better, way more online with this right here. So looks like the stamp end is a lot bigger too. If you guys can see that right there. So again, a lot thinner and this one a lot fatter so Ooh, that is so nice we're gonna use that I'm so excited about that so it does make a very 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 good print however oh no I'm not seeing any running well a little bit I see a little bit of running I didn't see a lot of that last year so I don't know if they changed the formula or if it's because of the size we'll see how it works on the face though because I do have a lot of like lines and wrinkles on my hand, but it is, I don't know if you guys can see in there, running just a little bit there, but not, not a ton, not a ton. I've seen way worse. Okay, and it looks like we are finally down to the last item, which is the palette. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised at the size of it. It's very close in size to like a ColourPop uh, nine pan. And I think this has, yeah, it has more than nine pan. So they definitely, um, kind of slimmed down the palette size here. So just again, for comparison, this is the old palette. This is the new palette. 
This had 15 shades. This has 12 shades in it. So again, they did, you know, kind of slim everything down a little bit. Last year, they did do lashes. They also did like eyeliners. I would have really liked to have seen like maybe some blushes. I am glad that they didn't do just all red lipsticks because they did do red lipsticks and red lip liners last year. I did not grab those because I got enough red lips. You know what I mean? Um, I did grab a couple pair of the lashes. I can't find my Winifred ones, but I do have my Clever Witch ones. So again, this is from last year's collection. I haven't even used these because I've been afraid to, but I have used the Winifred ones. They are actually really decent quality if you're uh, curious about ColourPop's lash quality. So let's take a look at the palette now. So I'm going to hold this upside down so you guys don't get blinded by the mirror. The palette itself, instead of the round pans like they had last year, let's see if I can do this right. All right, so let's look at a comparison side by side of both of them. So the old one, as you can see, did not have a mirror. The new one does. Again, the new one only has 12 pans. The old one had 15. I didn't see any like repeat shade names or repeat shades, although there does kind of look like some similar ones here. I will say with the old one, and both of them, by the way, do have like magnetic enclosures. I mean, they do feel like both like fairly nice packaging. The new one is just, just a smidge thicker than the old one. But again, I really just like the old one better as far as the color story. It was a lot grungier, a lot darker, a lot witchier. I will say when I saw this on Instagram, though, I wasn't as like flabbergasted by it. But when I saw it in person, I was a lot more surprised. Whereas this one, it looks very much the same. And again, I don't know. I'm not, I'm thinking I'm with everybody on like, I'm not really loving the little characters here. I mean, I know they're very similar to the characters that they did last year, which again, oops, let me get my finger out of the way, which again are, you know, those are Disney's drawings. Those are Disney's choices, not ColourPop. So don't blame ColourPop for that. But let's go ahead and get into trying on and testing out some of these products. So the first shade I'm going to go into is The Moon Is Round, and I'm using a Repper 15. And I'm just gonna put this right up here because I want a nice, like, monochromatic, orangey look here. Just to play with some of these orange shades. I really wanted to play with the greens, which I'm probably gonna do tomorrow. So, uh, if you guys are curious, uh, definitely let me know down below and I will post that on Instagram for you guys because I can do that. I need to start posting more on Instagram anyways. So I'm just gonna kind of slap this down. I'm not worried about blending it out or anything right now because we'll have plenty of time to do that later. So again, just laying it down there. All right, next I'm gonna grab a Repper 13 and I'm gonna go into a Life Potion right here, which is just such a pretty color. Um, it almost looks kind of brown, but then when, when you blend it, especially with that orange right there, oh man, yeah, that's what I was wanting right there. Just a fall look right there. That screams fall, doesn't it? So tell me how many of you guys saw, which I'm sure probably all of you saw the Jeffree Star palette, his new one, the Pricked palette. You guys already know I ordered it, right? <laughs> you know I had to. Uh, that's the only part of his collection I ordered. I was going to order the brown mascara, but the problem is it wasn't going to ship until like October the 8th or something because it said it was on back order. So I'm like, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get the palette as soon as I can. So that's why you haven't seen anybody review the mascaras yet because apparently they are on back order so um i don't know what's going on with that i don't know if it's like you know something covid with the uh, you know related with the um 
you know, company that makes the mascaras. I know he was having a hard time just getting them made in general. I'm not really for sure. So anyways, um, oh yeah, that looks so stinking pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay down this bubble bubble shade because it just looks like orange heaven right here. So we're going to put that on a crease brush. And oh yeah, these shades are really, I am very impressed, uh, the shimmers, how easily they are laying down with you know, one of these little flat crease shader brushes. People have different names for them. I call them like a crease brush because, I mean, I guess they're not really a crease brush, like more like a cut crease or a concealer brush. I don't know. I like it for like tightening up my crease and making like cut crease kind of looks, but it is just such a pretty, shade and they are like I said laying down so nicely and and they really did do like the monochromatic rose too which I like because I am a monochromatic kind of girl if you guys can't tell already I mean I do like to mix it up like I really want to do a look here with like the purple and then like the green on the you know uh bottom line like I think that would look really cute I mean and that's one thing I can say about this palette is I you know like, it's not my favorite color story-wise, but it is giving me, like, a little more than last year's palette. Like, I like last year's packaging. I like the grunginess of it, but I like the formula of this one. Oh, no! I dropped my brush! But I like the formula of this one a lot better. And I have to say, it does inspire me a lot, lot more than last year's did by a long shot. And then we're going to use our last super shock shadow and we're gonna lay that down in the corner baby and yeah I'm like oh this is just gorgeous uh how am I gonna do this oh my god that's not how I'm not doing it that way <laughs> okay I'm gonna wipe my little brush off here and I'm going to grab, if I can, will it grab? Oh, it will a little bit. Yeah, these Super Shocks, they just pick up so much better on the finger. And if I try, like, packing it on. Oh, yeah. Okay, that works a little better. Yeah, normally I don't have to work that hard for a Super Shock Shadow. This is a really pretty color, too. So that sucks. I would say this is probably my favorite out of the three-pack. I mean, the I don't know. The purple is really pretty, though. It's really, really, really pretty. I was surprised that they didn't do a Super Shock last year. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a little bit more ooh, of that orange and then just pat it over top there oh my gosh that is insanely gorgeous and I'm going to take my brush just kind of smooth out my edges oh, so pretty so so pretty all right let me do my other eye really quick off camera and then we'll be back well I have to say ColourPop I'm pretty impressed with these little uh lip crims because number one first off the black this color it's not getting all over my teeth and it's not making my teeth like yellow or green. So kudos for that. But the other thing is like the actual formula of these things. Like the, the formula is creamy, but it's not drying, but it's not too slick. It's not sticky at all. I mean, I feel like lip creme is like the perfect word 
for these to describe what they are. And the doe foots on there have that really nice point so you can really get in there even if you don't have a lip liner. Yeah, I feel like you definitely put your foot in these ColourPop. Like I don't like ColourPop's other lip products. I'm just saying I do like their lip pencils a lot and I do like their bullet lipsticks, but their actual matte liquid lipsticks, I don't like those. I don't like the lip glosses, they're too sticky. I don't like the Lux lip glosses, but these, I'm gonna have to pick up some more of these because these are really, 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 really good. All right, so let's talk about these two collections and my final thoughts on them because I definitely feel like I have a pretty good, uh, I feel like I have a pretty good feel on both of these. So first thing, I like the packaging of this one a lot better than this one, like a hundred times better. I wish I could switch like these colors in here with some of these, but with this formula, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like the formula of this one is a hundred times better than the formula of last year's palette. Um, I do like the grungy colors in here, but I also like the bright uh, pops and the purples and stuff in here. Just absolutely amazing. The other thing I want to say is I did not, wasn't the biggest fan of like these glitter, like topper gel things last year. I definitely think the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows were a much better route to go. I would really like to see blushes, ColourPop. I'm just saying if you do a collection next year, which I know your butt will, I'm just saying blushes blushes would be nice like some super shocked blushes even like a little compact blush oh my god a little kitty cat head compact blush who is down i'm down i, I want a binx head compact blush you guys heard it here first i'm just saying okay but the the formula of this is absolutely beautiful i mean like it's totally lackluster is it not like i feel like when i saw it even when i finally saw it in person it's really lackluster but i do have some really beautiful halloween vibe looks and i do love the monochromatic rose i'm just a monochromatic type person i really 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 do love the palette and i do love it a lot more than this by a long shot however I like the packaging on this better and I like some of the grungier colors. Like I wish we could combine this and this with this packaging and this formula and we would have like the perfect, you know, uh, Hocus Pocus palette. Now, as far as this goes, I mean, they're both nice. I like the packaging on this one better. I think they both kind of bled in, you know, my little fine lines and stuff like that. So you just have to be careful where you place it, how you're placing it, making sure you get all of it. But it's a cute little touch. Definitely not necessary. The Super Shocks on here, I will say, as you guys saw, um, the yellow one, definitely not needed if you're going to get the palette. I would say this one even not needed if you're going to get the palette because it is really close on the skin with 300 years. So you could really do very similar things with either one of these. So I don't think it's a have to have. Like if you're only going to get one Super Shock Shadow, I feel like the one that I couldn't duplicate with something in this palette and doesn't look exactly the same on the eye or on the skin is this one right here, which is the purple one in Forever Bewitching because it does have those like little pink glitter reflex in there. It does catch the light differently. It does look differently on the eye. So if you're only going to grab one, I would definitely say grab the purple one. Um, other than that, la last time they did lashes, last time they did gel liners, these liners, I mean, they have really, really good gel eyeliners, but these ones that they came with last year, I was not a fan. They were not my favorite. They really didn't stand out on the waterline. They didn't stay on the waterline that well. Like it wasn't their good gel liner formula. Like sometimes they have good gel liner formulas and then they have these and these are these, you know what I mean? Now the, you know, kitty cat mirror, I think was a amazing touch. I love it. And let's check out our candle because it's been burning for quite a few hours now. Okay, so it definitely, as you can see, has a little bit of smoke, not a lot of smoke. It did. It is burning pretty nice and evenly. Um, you can kind of see a little bit of a dip in there. I'm gonna see if you guys, cause I don't wanna like, can you guys see that where the like waxes? Yeah, you guys can see that where the wax is up on there. So it, it's not like perfectly evenly burning, but it's not the worst burning candle by any means. 
and uh, I will say the smell is really nice, but this compared to like a Bath and Body Works candle, Bath and Body Works definitely has a higher scent, way, 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 way more of a scent, like room filling scent. Like when I walked in here, I actually forgot that I even had it. So while the candle smells nice, I don't feel like it's, you know, it, again, it's not going to fill your room up at all, actually. And I have a, a pretty good smeller. Uh, I did like that they did lashes last year. I wish, so, you know, I feel like they need to do blushes with little kitty cat heads Definitely lip crims. Stay the hell away from those red lip cr uh, sticks and lip liners and all of that. Stick with the lip crims. Um, we need like a combination palette with this formula. And yeah, that is everything I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it and doing it. And I missed you guys so, so much. Stay tuned because I definitely have um, another video. It's already recorded. But again, I didn't want to start off on like a bad negative foot. I didn't want to be like, oh, hey, guys, I haven't seen you in a while, but here's some bad news. You know what I mean? I wanted to start off on a positive note, positive, uh, you know, back. So anyways, um, yeah, that's everything I have. So if you don't have your, you know, notifications set, definitely turn them off and turn them back on because I'll be surprised if you guys even get notified of this video, if I'm being quite frank, you know what I mean? So, anywho, um, I would really like to do a live this weekend, so I probably will on Sunday. So, definitely keep an eye out for that as well. And I love you guys so much, and I missed you so much, and I will see you next time. See ya!